Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about variables in JavaScript. So on our last video we talked about arithmetic operations. So in this video we're going to talk about variables in JavaScript. So we're going to start off by creating our new file. So I'm going to call mine variables.js and I'm going to close down out of this file because we don't need it. So one thing to keep in mind when we're programming in JavaScript is we need to use variables and we need to use variables to store our data. So our data could be anything. Our data could be a string, our data could be a number. So the two main data types are strings and numbers. And when we think of a string, we think of a number of characters. So, you know, we might store somebody's name in a string or we might store somebody's favorite food in a string but there's other things that we can store in strings as well and we can also store numbers in strings so if we can think of an example that contains both letters and numbers so something like this might be a number plate so a number plate would contain both numbers and strings so we could only store that number plate variable within a string we couldn't store that number plate variable within a number because if we use numbers, it doesn't allow any characters to be used. So we'll just start off with our string here. So we'll call it name. And within our name variable, we're gonna let it equal Ryan. So I'm gonna type in Ryan here. Now we can see that Ryan is being stored in name, but this line of JavaScript isn't actually finished yet we need to specify whether this variable name is going to be changed at a later date and how we do that is before we specify the name we either use let or we use const and for this example we're talking about names so generally your first name doesn't change sometimes your second name might change if you get married but for your first name, we leave it as const. So we'll assume it doesn't change. Then another variable that we could take into consideration is a number. So for example, we might think of an age, right? So we might have age and we might set it equal to a number. So let's say 25. Now our age changes, you know, every year so this variable will need to be changed at some stage so we we'll set this to let okay so now let's we're going to console log these two values just to see what our output will be our output should be uh, ryan and 25 so we'll do console.log and we'll do our brackets and we'll just copy and paste this and we'll put in our name put inside the first console log and we'll put in our age inside our second console log and we we'll now go and run this so we can see our output here is Ryan and 25 so now let's say for some reason we want to change our name Ryan so our first name usually doesn't change but we're going to try and change it in this example so we're going to have name and we're going to set it equal to Chris okay so we're going to put in Chris and we're just going to try and run this program as it is and we can see that we get all this red text and what this is is an error so it's basically telling us that we can't assign Chris to name because name is declared as a constant. So just to make it clear, if we change this to let, so this is saying that name can actually be changed and we go and run this exact same code, we can see that Chris is now printed out and it says Chris and the number 25. So as I said before, our first names usually don't change. So we're gonna want to make this constant. And we're going to get rid of this because we're not changing our name. So now we've got this let age 25. And from before, we know if we use the let keyword that we can change our age and it shouldn't give us an error. 
So to change our age, let's say age plus plus. So if you remember from our previous video, when we used the plus plus increment operator, it will increase our number by one. So we should see 26. And we can see the output displayed is Ryan and 26. But we could also assign a completely different age. Okay, so we could say age is equal to maybe 30. And then we'd see our output as 30. And so we do, we see Ryan and 30. And imagine if we change this to const, we would then not be able to change our name on this line. So if we could try and run this, we can see that we get an error. So we need to change this back to that because we want to be able to change our age. And we'll take this away. So if we go and run this now, we'll see the result of Ryan and 25. Currently using pretty basic information. So let's go and change this up a little bit. So we're gonna get rid of our name and we're gonna get rid of our age. And we're going to keep our two console logs, but we're going to get rid of the variables within inside them because we're going to create two new variables. And the first variable that we're going to create is just going to be a license plate number, okay? So we're going to just say license and we're going to let it equal to a license plate number. So if we remember, a license plate number will contain both numbers and letters. So if it contains both numbers and letters, we're gonna to have to use a string for this. And we can put in, let's say, 16.1, and then we put in hyphen, put in lm, and then you can put in whatever number you want. So now, is our license plate gonna change? Our license plate on our car will never change. You know, you might replace the tires, you might replace the engine, but the license plate on the car will never change. So we're gonna leave this as a const, meaning that it will not change. Then the second value that we want to input is gonna be the height. I'm choosing the variable height because the height will have a decimal point in it. You could use something like the weight of the car. You could specify the speed. You could specify the duration it takes to get from naught to 60, whatever you want to use, but I'm just gonna use height because it's straightforward. So we're gonna say, HD height, and we're going to say it's equal to, we'll say, 165, okay? So the unit that this is being measured in is centimeters, but we're not going to specify this in this example. We're just going to say the height. We're going to assume that all our vehicles are being calculated with the exact same height. So the height of the car may change. So depending on the type of tires you put on, or if you raise or lower the suspension. So we want to put this as a let. And we can see, if we print these out, we can see, we can see license and we can see height. So currently, if we print these out, we'd see that our license plate number and our height are the same as the values we've assigned to it. But when we're dealing with numbers in JavaScript, we can also do decimal points. So we can say 165.5. And we can go and run this. And we can see that 165.5 is being split. Or we can also change this to have multiple decimal places, as many as we want. So we could say this. And we run this. And we can see that it gives a more precise measurement.